Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another legendary chest opening inside of Clash Royale, where today we got the legendary chest from our special offer, and this is actually like our second legendary chest in the last three or four days. I don't know what it is. Maybe Supercell flagged my account for being a big money spender after that ridiculous amount of gemming I did the other day, but we have another legendary chest inside of the shop, so let's go and open this up. Whatever card we get inside of this, we'll try to throw inside of a deck, and uh, let's go and see what happens right now so pop in this bad boy open mega knight or knight which would be the best possible thing that we can get we're gonna get the mega knight which is absolutely perfect for those 500 smack roos we just laid down perfect and i know exactly what deck i want to play alongside this we've got the mega knight six out of ten now and i just saw this deck uh, available on the leaderboard it's a mega knight graveyard inferno dragon ewas deck that i have no idea exactly how it works and uh, let's try this right now i think it should be a pretty fun deck it's really expensive to get that you know mega knight graveyard push going down and taking a look at my starting hand which is just completely absurd oh man this could be a struggle off the uh, very first tip but let's get our mega knight down right now looks like they're gonna drop their poison so maybe i can get some value on the uh, or they're gonna drop their elixir collector maybe i can get some value on the poison um i think i might just go ham right now and drop our graveyard if he has a pekka i'm just gonna cry and say gg well played but other than that, this is going to start our push off pretty well. Poison's going to go down. It's not going to hit, uh, you know, too much else. Ooh, this minion horde's going to blow me up too, so I'm not feeling too great about that. Let's go ahead and get the ice golem down. And then play the zap as well to kill the minion horde. Oh no. Guys, we've made mistakes. I don't know what to say. The Mega Knight Graveyard combo for the very first play might not have been the best move. I'm going to play the E-Wiz to try to keep this tower alive. Normally, I just let the tower die and move on with my life. But with 655 left, it might still be salvageable. Another Elixir Collector goes down, which is just so sad. And honestly, I've got plenty of cards to deal with what this guy has inside of the deck. I've got the Poison for the Minion Horde. I've got the uh, Zap for the Minion Horde, the E-Wiz for the Minion Horde. I've got some pretty good stuff to get this done, uh, especially that Goblin Gang as well. And uh, let's just go ahead and get our Inferno Dragon to start this off. I'm wasting Elixir right now, so this is just... A fantastic start to this game. Tombstone might have to back me up in a moment. Let's go ahead and see what this guy does as he cycles through a lot of these lower tier cards. And I'm just going to go ahead and get our Mega Knight right down, down right now and see when this Minion Horde's going to come out. The Poison Spell's going in. There's the... Or, sorry, the, the Minion Horde's going down. There's our Poison Spell. Wow, this Mega Knight's going to go all the way in front of our tower and actually get damage. Very unfortunate. Mega Knight's... Or, Ice Golem's going to go down, but it's going to do nothing, and this game has been a full-on disaster. Mega Knight will jump into the tower, but we're so far down on Elixir right now. I have no clue what we're going to do. From minute one, this game has been a full-blown disaster. And there goes the three Musketeers. We're going to have to make this work as I drop a really 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 strange tombstone on the bottom left i'll drop the inferno dragon over here and plan to drop the uh, mega knight on this side he's going to go ahead and play everything over here fascinating move we'll get our uh let's get our zap plus our e down over here to try to clean some of this up looks like his uh musketeer is going down mega knight's actually going to lock onto the tower for some great damage but guys we're just a little bit too late on all these pushes and I think it's going to end up costing me the game. We could have won this game without a doubt in my mind. But unfortunately, with some very stupid maneuvers, I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's get our Mega Knight going down right now. And with just not enough time left, I don't think we can get this graveyard to go down when we need it to. We've got Zap right here. Musketeers are cleaning up our King Tower. All in all, very poor games to start off this game is going to eliminate us from any chance of victory. Or else we would have done good. I think we definitely had a better matchup into this guy. We had the Mega Knight to counter the three Musketeers. Play it right on top of them when they drop the mid bridge. Mega Knight does well against the Battle Ram. All in all, that was just very horribly played. And uh, we need to turn this around. Okay, so you guys know the deal. When we have good luck inside of a chest, that means bad luck inside of the battle. Obviously, that turned out to be the case right there. I basically lost on the opening hand. But uh, let's go ahead and get ready again. I'm going to start with the Inferno Dragon. See if we can get this battle going a little bit better. Uh, Goblin Gang's gonna get split up. We should be able to take care of those fairly easily. And seeing as he does have the, uh, seeing as he does have a bit, ooh, I'm gonna replay Zap right now just to give my Ewas just a little bit more time. I was hoping this, uh, oh yeah, that's actually gonna work out okay right there as all of this goes down. Wow, the Minion Horde's gonna die. That was not a very good Minion Horde from him. So now that that goes down, the Wizard, or the, the uh, E-Wiz, should do a great job against all of these. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and play our Mega Knight right now. Let's go ahead and go on a crazy push. He plays his Elixir Collector at a very strange moment, if I do say so myself. And because of that, this E-Wiz is going to sprint forward. This Graveyard momentarily is going to sprint forward. Come on, Megan. 
There we go. Mega Knight's finally going to make... Oh, the Goblin Gang getting it to the face right now. Going to hit him with that well played because that tower is going to get chunked all the way down to zero. Zap Spell will do nothing except for waste two of his Elixir. Mega Knight's going to turn around and jump onto this Elixir Collector. And all in all, this game has already been so much better. Poison Spell to clean up this Minion Horde and get some King Tower damage, guys. This game is going pretty much better. Perfect. Wow. Can't ask for anything else than a completely decimating push right there. And that's going to be perfect as we figure out this deck. This is the first time I'm playing this deck. Obviously, in the first game, it didn't work out too well. This game is going much better, uh, mainly in part due to a couple of pretty silly mistakes from my opponent. Let's get our Ice uh, Golem down right now. We can prepare with our Tombstone as well, waiting to see if he's going to play anything. Going to hit him with a Well Played because I think he might have just given up, uh, judging by how this went. We'll get our Mega Knight going down right now, but seeing as we filled up on Elixir a couple of times, this one should basically be over. And as the Ice Golem Mega Knight combo rolls through, that's going to be the end of the game for a clean victory. All right. Well, unfortunately, some people can't handle the heat. He's going to end up surrendering right here. Let's just get our E-Wiz down right now. I'm surprised there's not a surrender button in the game, actually. There's a, there's a fair amount of give-ups. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and poison this down just to make this go a little bit quicker. GG will play 2 minutes and 10 seconds for the 3 crown. And battle number 2 definitely win a billion times better. That first battle, we got caught up on what we wanted to do. This one, we were pretty assertive. We were able to get that done. Let's go and get into battle number three. And guys, I've got a question for you. Something that I've been thinking about is changing my name from Chief Pat YouTube just to regular Chief Pat. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's just been something I'm thinking. I might have totally butchered that tombstone, by the way. Oh, I did. See how it, that second fire spear got a hit. The best timing to place it is definitely not what I did right there. Uh, I'm going to get the E-Wiz down right now. Eventually. And as we prepare, wow, we've got Hut City right now. And uh, this is going to be quite the battle. All right. Well, huts are okay for me because the Mega Knight does pretty dang well in the huts. Uh, so let's go and let this bandit die to these skeletons. Beautiful job by the tombstone to be able to clean up this bandit or at least do a decent job. Um, I'm going to go ahead in a moment and play this here. Then play ooh, the Mega Knight's going to miss. Mega Knight's going to jump, though, in a moment. Mega Knight versus the bandit jump. Okay, it's actually only going to do that right there. Fascinating jumping from this Mega Knight right here. The leaping... Oh, wow, he's got a Mega Knight, too. Okay, I didn't know he had that much elixir, guys. I think that's going to be GG, because we are about to get destroyed. This tombstone. Guys, I don't think this tombstone's going to do great. I don't think this tombstone's going to do great, guys. Oh, man. What did I tell you about that first battle? Going back to this battle, we are going to completely kill ourselves. And let's get our poison spell down. Try to clean up some of this push. I don't even know if the poison was the right choice because this bandit is still going ham right now. Ice Golem to clean up some of this E-Wiz damage so it doesn't kill me. Looks like he's going to play a minor. I don't mind that minor damage. Great minor placement from him. That's one of the few minor placements where you can actually avoid damage from that uh, king t or that arena tower on the left-hand side. So we're going to have a huge comeback to do inside of this battle. I'm not concerned. I thought we were playing like a spawner expo deck, which is why I felt comfortable using the Mega Knight. But he literally had a counter Mega Knight to drop on my face and laugh at what I was doing. So let's get our Mega Knight down again. I didn't see very many or a very good um, counter to the graveyard inside of his deck besides just spawning madness over and over and over again. Let's get ready momentarily with our Inferno Dragon. These Fire Spirits are actually cleaning us pretty dang well. Uh, we're going to go in this down. Zap's going to kill these bats right here. Give my Mega Knight a little bit of time to jump forward. There goes his Mega Knight. I'm going to get a Poison Spell down as well. He's worried about my Inferno Dragon over his tower, so we will be able to take that tower right there. But it's all about getting this Mega Knight down once again if we want any chance of picking up this victory. So let's get ready to drop it on absolutely all of this. Ice Golem's going to go down here. Another pretty good play from him with those bats to keep everything alive. Miner really needs to die right now. This Miner is killing me. We've done such a good job to get inside out of this battle but it's really just this one miner that is giving me so many problems i have to play an inferno dragon to kill it time to switch things up and go down the left hand lane guys if possible i think it's going to be a little bit difficult given where this battle is right now but let's get our tombstone down and maybe just maybe we can possibly make something happen all right here we go here we go with everything we've got right here. He's going to be dropping so much against us. Got to drop those bats. The Inferno Dragon cleaning up that Mega Knight beautifully. Wow, that was a really good job to clean up that over there. Got to save something for this Miner down the other lane. You have to think the Miner's going to be coming out. We've got the Mega Knight momentarily. Let's see what it does. Bandit's going to go in right there. Let's get our e was down right on top of that Miner. Beautifully done. Ooh, Tombstone has to do something. Got to play the Ice Golem for something. Wait, Graveyard. He's going aggressive. There goes my Inferno Dragon down this lane right here. He's going to end up zapping. Look at the Inferno Dragon damage right there. Miner's going to go down far too late, guys. That's going to be GG.
for the comeback victory. Woo! That was a fiasco. That was a serious battle right there. I can safely say that I didn't know if we were gonna win that one, but we brought it back with the combination down that left-hand lane. He went far too aggressive for my king tower. Many people make the mistake when they take the first tower, specifically when someone plays like an idiot like I did inside of that very first play. They try to go for the king and finish off the game, and more likely than not, you can stage a comeback by going for that other arena tower. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this deck. I think it's pretty fun. Only playing it three times, we went two and one. We've got the Mega Knight Tombstone. Graveyard Poison, Ewiz, Inferno, Zap, and Ice Golem. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. And until, until tomorrow's video or next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.